Greetings and welcome back to It's Donnie Wani Time. Donnie Wani is here today with a new video for you. And um, this video is a tag, okay? So if you're interested to seeing what tag I'm doing today, then just keep watching. Okay, champions, so this tag is called the Confession Tag, and it was created by S underscore Hutchinson. Hey, girl! Um, I just thought this was an inter interesting tag, and this was something that S underscore Hutchinson created herself. <clears throat> Excuse me. She came up with the questions, and she also did the tag. I will link her um, channel down below. And I also put it up here somewhere. But it was just an interesting tag and it's just confession. And I would assume that if you're confessing that you should be truthful. So that's what I plan to do. So there are 12 questions. As y'all can see, I'm sitting in my car. Um, because, you know, I, I don't know. I want to come out to my car and film this video. <laughs> Um, so I don't want anybody hearing my hidden secrets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first question is, conf confess something you did a long time ago that you're still ashamed of. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, something I did a long time ago that I'm still ashamed of. Well... There's a couple of things. Okay, sorry y'all, my battery was starting to, I need to plug my phone in so that it can start charging. Okay, but getting back to the first question. Okay, confess something you did a long time ago that you're still ashamed of. Um, there's a couple of things, but what I will share is um, I dated a married man. Um, and I was young. I was young, it's nothing that I would do now, and it's nothing that I've done since, I've only done it one time. I was young, I was in my um, 20s, and and I was the fire, yes I was, and if I must say so myself. Um, and so, I really wasn't trying to be involved in a relationship, but I still wanted companionship in my life. And at that time in my life, I was um, struggling, and so I just figured out that, you know, I don't, I, instead of being involved in a relationship with someone, cause I had, I, you know, I, I had gotten out of a relationship that I had been in for a while, you know, and I needed the assistance. The sister needed the assistance, you know what I'm saying? So it was easy to just be involved with an older man who was well-established. Um, and, you know, I didn't have to, I didn't have to do nothing, <laughs> pretty much. I didn't have to do nothing but be pretty and smell good. You know what I'm saying? And 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 so, um, but I do regret that because my grandmother, you know, when she found out about it, because I kept it on the low key because I knew that my grandmother and my mom were not going to approve. But when they did find out, they both told me the same thing. Now, baby, one day you will be married. And would you want someone cheating you know, with your husband, would you want your husband to be cheating? So what you put in the atmosphere, you need to be careful about what you put out there because it can come back to bite you in the butt. So that's one of the things that, um, that I'm ashamed of, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The next question is confess at least one bad habit you have. Um, one bad habit that I have is that I'm a smoker and, um, I don't smoke a pack of cigarettes a day um, because of my children and my grandchildren and my husband who are consistently getting on me. Um, you know, a pack of cigarettes may last me three, four days. But when I drink, that's when I do the majority of my smoking. So I'm trying to wean myself off of that. So y'all just pray for a sister, okay? The next question is confess your guilty pleasure. <clears throat> My guilt, honey, I got several guilty pleasures <laughs> because I like to treat myself. You know what I'm saying? But I would say that one of my um, guilty pleasures is the fact that I enjoy being pampered. So I will, I get a massage at least once a month because I'm involved in a club. I have a membership. So I get a massage at least once a month. 
Um, I get a manicure and a pedicure every two weeks. Um, sometimes you can't tell because I do, you know, depending on my schedule, I get, you know, mix, miss my appointments. But pretty much I, I do that. I get my eyebrows done every two weeks. I mean, those are the type of guilty pleasures that I have. I just have a tendency. My biggest guilty pleasure is just pampering me. I don't depend on anybody else to do that. I do that for myself. Um, the fourth question is, if your friend had a hygiene problem, would you tell them? Yes. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Not only would I tell my friend, well, first of all, if you're my friend, I should be able to tell you. You should be able to tell me because that's what friends are. You know what I'm saying? True friends. But if you have a hygiene problem and you're a co-worker, I wouldn't just set you out, but I will come to you at work in um, a nice way you know, where I would, you know, ask you if everything is going on, are you on some medication, you know, and then I, that would lead me into saying, you know, you know, people are, are saying that you have some type of odor going on, is there something I can help you with? I will offer assistance and I wouldn't be ugly doing it with a friend or a co-worker, but you, you know, people just walk around in those type of situations and they won't say anything. And if you around me and I'm like gagging and I can't, no, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do something. Like I say, I wouldn't be ugly about it in either situation. Um, the fifth question is, confess something you're really bad at. I'm really bad at um, being like a nurse. You know what I'm saying? Um, my mom was a nurse and she always wanted me to go to school and become a nurse. But she told me, you know, when I was a teenager, she, you know, she's like, you're gonna have to work on your, your, um, your skills for, you know, people that are sick and work on your patients because I don't have no patience for that kind. I don't. I don't know. I. I mean. I. I'm not saying. Don't get it twisted. Now. I'm not saying I don't have empathy or compassion. But you know, like for for one thing, with my children growing up, you know what I'm saying. They'd be like, "Mama, I don't feel good. Mama, my stomach hurt. You know, or whatever." It was always difficult for me to be like, "Okay, baby." Let's do this. Let's do that. You know, no, you go to school. If you still feel bad at, at the, by, by lunchtime, call me and let me know. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but when my grandmother became ill and I had to take care of her, that really, really tested me. Um, and so I didn't have a problem with taking care of her, but it really did tell me that I am not a caregiver type of person as far as doing it for a living. I will have to do, I'm a person that will do it for a loved one or a friend, but not um, doing it for a living. You know, they'd be like, ah, oh, I can't lift my arm. Yes, you can. <laughs> Try. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that would be something that I'm really bad at is just being a caregiver um, on a regular basis as far as doing it as a profession. The next question says, confess something that you always preach about but never do. I'm always preaching about keeping yourself healthy, okay? Um, making your schedule yearly appointments with the doctors to make sure that you know you can try to catch things um, um, before they get so far gone that it's, it's very difficult to try to fix whatever's going on. Now, don't get me wrong. I do make all my doctor's appointments, but as far as exercising and all of that, my husband, he's on me about that, you know, because he exercises. So that's something that I'm preaching, you know, is, you know, eating better and, and being much more healthy. But then for myself, I find reasons why I can't go walk today. You know, I find reasons why... I can't get on the treadmill today. I can't do my sit-ups today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that would be the answer to that question. The next question says, confess something mischievous. Confess a mischievous thing you did in your childhood. Well, I was a mischievous child. My grandmother always used to say I was just curious, but 
it's just my brother and I. I'm the oldest, and we're two years apart. And so I just used to terrorize him every day, all day long. I just terrorized him. I made him eat ants. I made him eat my mud pies. I made <laughs> I just terrorized my little brother, you know, and now that we're adults, we sit back and we laugh about it and all of that type of thing, but it's true. I did. Now, I would beat him up, but nobody else could beat him up. No, you better not be talking about my brother. You better not be hitting my brother. You better not be doing nothing to my brother because I will come after you. You hear me? But now I do it all day, every day. I don't know if y'all saw uh, my Easter vlog and one of them, we did the Bean Boozle Challenge. And my brother ate a bean and he was like, he didn't know what it what it tasted like. And then my daughter yelled out and she was like, well, does it taste like ants? That's because I, we laughed because I made him eat ants. Spiders, ants, all kind of stuff. I just terrorized him. So that would be one of the mischievous things that I did as a child. The next question is, confess one act of revenge you have done. Um, When I was 18, 19 years old, I tore up somebody's car. I mean, physically, my girlfriend and I, we went and we tore up the car. And there was a guy, and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, the next question is, if you were going out with your friends and one was dressed inappropriate for the occasion, would you tell them? Like I said, again, if it's a true friend, and I felt that, 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 that they were really way out there. Because that's like a double-edged question for me. Because I really believe in people um, being who they are. But you know, sometimes you have to tone down who you are depending on the situation. So if it's a true friend, you know, I probably would just say, Girl, or man, you know what? You know you is really out of order. You know, you know where we going? You know... And I would do it jokingly, but I would probably still not make a big deal out of it because I believe in people expressing who them who they are, being you know your inner artistic self. So probably not. I would joke about it with them though, but probably not make a big deal out of it because you just do you. You be who you are, in my opinion. The next question is: If you had proof that your friend or an associate's partner was cheating on them, would you tell? Woo! I would want to. I really would. But I probably wouldn't because I wouldn't want their feelings hurt. And they probably wouldn't believe it anyway, especially if they have no clue, no red flags or anything like that. But because I don't want to hurt their feelings, I probably wouldn't say anything, you know, at all, you know. I, I just still wouldn't want to hurt that because that would hurt. That really would. The next question is, if you are in the store and you saw someone shoplifting, would you tell? No. Because you don't know what a person's circumstances are. Sometimes folk are out here and they are trying to make it and they have children and they may even be working and they may not be working, but you just never know. So I'm not, I'm not getting ready to, to get involved in a situation like that. You're not hurting me, and you're not hurting anybody else. Yeah, shoplifting, the prices may go up on the products, but as far as um, me just squealing and telling, nah. Mm -mm. Um, and then the last question is, if your partner's friend tried to hit on you, would you tell your partner or keep it on the hush? Nah, baby, I'm finna tell it. I'm finna tell it because, see, I don't want you trying to go back and say nothing about I'm trying to do this, that, and the other with you because I ain't the one. You know what I'm saying? When I'm with my guy, I'm with my guy, you know? But now, if you want to be cheating and trying to hit on folk, then you don't need to be hitting on your, your best friend's woman or you don't need to be hitting on my guy. My, my guy's friend don't need to be hitting on me because I'm sure going to tell you because that's the type of person that I am for one thing. I need for you to know the company that you keep, you know. But then I have a trust level with my guy and my guy got a trust level with me. 
my husband, we have trust with each other. And that's that's part of it, having trust and being trustworthy. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, he may make him feel some kind of way, but at least I told him. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, guys. That's the 12 questions on this tag. Thank you, S underscore Hutchinson, for coming up with this great tag. It made me think, you know, about some things, and it kind of took me back in time, and some things I just laughed about. I hope y'all enjoyed this tag, um, and I hope you got to, you know, get a little bit more insight about Donnie Wani, okay? We have new champions on our team, so welcome to all of my new champions. Thank you so much for your support. To my ride or die, thank you for always tuning in and watching my videos. Um, when you guys see this, I will be traveling, so I'll be, I'm going for a family member's funeral. So I'm going to try to vlog a little bit of it. Um, but um, yeah, just pray for me and my family, guys. Um, and until the next video, champions, be who you are and love who you are because who you are is all you have. That is who you are. Mwah. Smooches.